Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Chaos Lord David. Welcome back to a Let's Play of Spyro, Year of the Dragon. So what I'm going to do to start off this part is to uh, go back to uh, Sunrise Spring Home. Because I'm going to tackle the uh, uh, Sparks level and uh, go through back to Molten Crater to uh, uh, do the A challenge that Sergeant Bird can do. And I couldn't do it before, but I'm going to do that first before we do the Sparks level. So that way we can have uh, Sunrise Spring complete. So I'm going to go back to a Molten Crater over here. And a good thing, we can just take the shortcut to the level, uh, uh, to the end of the level where Sergeant Bird is. And this challenge, uh, it's going to take a little while, because it seems like everything that involves Sergeant Bird takes a while. Maybe because of how vast it is, and, uh, since Sergeant Bird can basically just go everywhere. And it's just so vast. Ow! <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Oh, get out! And here we are. Hello, Spyro. I'm just off to the Tiki Lodge for some R and R. Good thing I'm in R and R because taking a break from work too. <laughs> I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member. Ooh, awesome. Honorary members, huh? I will take that. And get out of here, you birds. Funny how these birds don't even give off gems or anything. So what we gotta do here for this challenge is we gotta take uh, uh, five of these uh, these uh, tiki uh, tiki men's uh, uh, heads and uh, put them on the bodies. Like, see that body right there? We gotta grab a head and uh, and uh, put them back on the body. And there's gonna be a couple gems here uh, throughout this area. So of course I'm gonna take care of these. I'm sure these birds are just here to just get in the way. They don't give off gems or anything, because of course they respawn. Oh, come on. And of course, uh, most of these areas where the heads are will have traps on them. I mean, well, it's like a maze deal. Not exactly like a maze, but you just gotta go somewhere in an area to uh, grab a head. So you can put it back on here. Awesome. Going to uh, at least uh, get these uh, gems here, but some of these areas can be quite annoying. Uh, not not these though, because these are actually no problem. You just gotta uh, kind of be patient. Oh, come on, you stupid camera! You gotta be patient, so you don't have to. Uh, so that way you won't get hit by the uh, uh, lava, the uh, fire shoots that are coming out of the wall. So you can grab ahead. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope I don't. I don't want to. I mean, I could have just dropped the head, but I uh, thought it'd be just uh, easier. Just keep keep a hold on to it. Oh, come on, come on, get on there. Thank you. <laughs> Funny how these guys are all still alive despite the fact that they've got their heads off. It's like Tiki men cannot be killed, <laughs> or it's like a horror horror film, like Spyro: You're the Dragon Horror Edition, available. At a PlayStation 1 near you. Fuck! Oh, I could just walk right under that. Sergeant Bird is way too small for that. <laughs> Still, I can't believe I got hit by that. And how did I miss that gem right there? Nope, 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 nope. <sighs> Sometimes I don't like the controls for Sergeant Bird. Like I said, it, like I said in the last part, it can be quite sluggish. Not all the time, but most of the time. Oh, I forgot. There's a. Uh, uh, cracking the wall here. Here's an hit. There's here's a hidden egg. But I'll, actually, I'll go ahead and save that after we get the rest of the gems and uh, complete this egg challenge here, because we just got to get the last head over here. And I think this is the where the last of the gems would be. I think. Uh, nope, I'm still missing nine gems. I'll go ahead and look for those really fast. Uh, I think there's like another hole over here. Yeah. Ah! I got hit again. Stupid fire. Okay, there's another green gem I'm missing. Or two red gems, either one. Actually, I'll go ahead and complete this challenge, and then we'll find the last gem here. It should be in this area. That's it! Take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership in the lodge. Awesome. See who it is. Ryan. 
<laughs> well, that's never happened before. I hope it's not a bad omen. You mean like that Megadeth song, Bad Omen? <laughs> well, I mean, I hope you're right, nonetheless. <laughs> I mean, it seems like I've been having, like, doses of bad luck recently. I mean, that that's just... Or, or something that seems like bad omens, but... But then again, I could be wrong. Oh! Stupid birds. I don't think those birds even... I forgot if those birds even hurt even hurt you, but... If you get in the way, they'll, like, knock you back. Get out of here, birds. I want to double-check this area. Want to or at least each area. Oh, I'm getting awfully close to that lava. Getting awfully close. I want to double check. Cause it the the last few the last uh, uh, gem or gems have to be around this area. They gotta be around here. Probably not in the main level, but uh, I've got a hunch it's still in this area. I love the Sergeant Bird music. It's pretty catchy. Uh, not here. I think this is the last area I haven't checked yet. Yeah, I think I've just checked everywhere. I don't see it. I do not see it. It's probably in the main level, I'm guessing. So I'll just go ahead and grab this egg over here. Luna. So we got all six eggs here in Molten Crater. Uh, so all that's left is the uh, uh, gem, or gems. I wonder if Luna from... Nah, I was going to say Luna from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds uh, series would look like that as a baby dragon, but hey, she's got green hair in the show. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the last gem's in the main part of the level. Oh, get out! You get out, too! Uh, maybe I'll double check this area. And you can actually- Oh! How did I miss this? How did I miss that? You gotta be kidding me. Well, <laughs> that went a lot sooner than I thought. And I- And actually some levels that you can revisit the egg challenges to get the eggs again, but some of them, not all of them. Okay, now that we're done with Molten Crater, all we got left is the uh, Sparks level. That went a lot uh, better than I thought. Still, I can't believe I missed that. I could have sworn I double-checked that, that area uh, the last time I was in this level. Okay, so all we got left, like I said, is the Sparks level. So here's Zoe. Spyro, I found an egg, but only Sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Yes. All right, so first Sparks level. Let's do this. The Crawdad Farm. I wonder where that tiny hole is, though. Probably in the wall. Probably. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Hello, Sparks. Maybe before you take on the nasty Crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the circle button to shoot these targets. <laughs> Okay, so what we gotta do here is basically know how to control his sparks, because this is the first uh, time we get to play as sparks. <clears throat> so first is to shoot. You can also move quickly by charging, like Spyro. To charge, hold down the square button. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Yeah, we can't shoot uh, this guy. Apparently, my shot just went right through him. So only we can, uh, only way we can kill him is to charge him. Oh, get over here, you. Get over here! Jeez. <laughs> it's like you have, to very, you have to cut your corners. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also slide in any direction. To slide, hold down the L1 or R1 button. Then move with the analog stick or directional button. Try sliding up and down to hit the targets in this room. Okay, so now it's time to do some strafing. I love doing the strafing. Not to mention, I just did the strafing not too long ago. <laughs> so I kind of jumped the gun in terms of this exercise. Kind of jumped the gun there for a second, but oh well. Nope. Oh, get, no. get out of here! Come on! Oh my God, that was bad. That was a despicable aim. On 
your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, and then press the X button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Alright, so here's a special butterfly right here, which is a green one. And this one is my favorite out of all of them. If you see, I'm just pressing the X button. It's like a... It's like a, a scatter shot. A long-range scatter shot. Pretty sick. Pretty sick weapon, in my opinion. It's kinda OP, too. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more help, just choose the help option from the pause menu. Alright, here's the real deal right here. The Crawdad Farm. Now these levels now these levels have 200 gems. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I kind of messed up there a little bit. I didn't mean to. Uh, it kind of sucks that the strafing thing only works in like uh, in the direction that you're facing. Like if you're facing left and you hold down the L1 or R1 button, you stay facing that direction. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this power up for a little later. Cause this seems a bit easy to use the to use it on this uh, set of crawdads. <clears throat> I might save this for like the boss or anything, because yeah, each level has a, a boss level as well, or not a boss level, but a boss fight. So I'm gonna save it. I mean, if there's there, are, of course there are different power-ups as well, like that purple one. They'll give you a different one, but I'm gonna keep the green one. No, I can't uh, destroy that. I can't destroy that base. What I've got, what I just recently picked up, is a red key. And of course, with the red key, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Look at all these fucking crawdads after me. Look at all of them. Nate, they're still coming. Anyway, the red key opens up the red door. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll use this. Just way getting it way out of hand. Way too many of them. Oh, but look here. We got another green one. So here's a green key now. And of course, it's pretty self-explanatory on what the keys do. Oh, come on. Keep the butterfly. So each color key opens up a re uh, uh, its respective uh, colored door. So we got the green door over here. Oh, a crab! Get out of here! And this one right here—that that, that uh, crystal colored uh, butterfly—gives you a shield. It's like an invincibility shield. Well, since we're already here, I may as well go ahead and show off the purple one too. The purple one gives you like a. Uh, uh, rocket like rockets. I mean, it's not bad, but it, I wouldn't say it's the best one. It's not bad either. And here's a switch to deactivate the shield. It only shoots off three rockets uh, for each time you use it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's bad, but I mean, it's not. It's not really. I wouldn't say it's the best one either. I'd stay. I'd rather just stick with the green one. Uh. I think that was an. I forgot what color that was, but this one gives off like a flame shot. Ow! Ow! That's not good. That's not good. This one's like a flame shot. It's this one. I this one I think is pretty good. It's like every time you defeat an enemy with it, um, or something like that. Every time you defeat an enemy, um, it's like more will come out and they will ricochet towards other enemies. Or and it's like it'll home in towards them. It's really it's pretty good. Oh, you stick with crabs. Ah, uh, it was short on that one. Get out of here. I think the uh, ricocheting uh, effect only, and uh, when more shots come out of it, is whenever you like defeat like multiple enemies with it. Yeah, you're just thinking crabs. I think these crabs can be the most annoying enemies. They're pretty annoying whenever they get close to you like that. Or a lobster. Oh, here we are at the boss. Uh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, it's too late now. Well, actually, this guy's no problem. He's super easy. This is a lobster. This crawdad uh, boss is actually quite easy. What I forgot to do is I forgot to go back into the center room to get that, uh, to destroy that uh, crawdad base to get the gem out of it. But it's alright. I can do that after we uh, take care of the boss here. But this guy is actually super easy. Oh boy, forgot about that flame shot. And 
Down he goes. Pretty easy. Nora. Nice backflip. And of course, each uh, Sparks uh, level only has one egg. So we just gotta go back to where that uh, little crawdad base was to get the last gem. Because I forgot to do that. It's really nice seeing the uh, color of uh, Sparks, uh, depending on what color he is. Like whenever, you, like whenever you charge the uh, wave behind him, the, the little light behind him is blue. It's pretty nice. Here's the last gem I forget to get. So here we are. We're done with the uh, Sparks level. Now we can get out of here. Yeah, I mean, you don't really need to use a power-up for that Crawdad boss, because he's relatively easy. But hey, if you want to if you want to try to go for a six speed run time, yeah, you're gonna want to use a power up. All right, so we're completely done with the Sunrise Spring Home. So now we can go back to uh, the Midday Gardens. So we can uh, uh, just tackle on from there, of course. <laughs> nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. And as a little extra bonus, every time you complete a uh, Sparks level, you'll get like a uh, like a little uh, little little uh, bit of uh, dragon magic, like a magic power up. Now that we've completed the first uh, Sparks level, uh, we can pick up gems that are a bit farther away from Spyro. Pretty useful, really useful stuff that you get from uh, the uh, Sparks levels. But hey, that there's a lot more. There's a few more uh, power ups to to uh, get from where that came from. <laughs> So now we gotta go back to the midday gardens, so that way we can uh, pick up where we left off and uh, can uh, go through the other levels and uh, get all the other everything else. So that's gonna do it for this part of our let's play of Spyro Year of the Dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next part. I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.